Well, I wanted to do this one again because I looked so freaking ugly in the last one. Maybe I could hold the camera up a little bit higher and get rid of some of this double chin. You would have thought that the trail would have destroyed that double chin. But no, it's, uh, it's lingering. It's hanging out. Here we are at Forsey Creek. We're going to be starting our San Gorgonio. Um, we're going to be starting our San Gorgonio mini through tonight. We're going to be a jack straw, and then uh, tomorrow we're going to be going over to Saxon Camp. That's the one that not a lot of people go to, and I'm kind of interested to see that one. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. This is my shelter for the evening. I got the uh, Z-Pax Altiplex. I'm just letting my um, my sleeping pad blow up there. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and close up this, this zipper. Keep the bugs out. No need in having them in if we don't have to. But uh, yeah, that's starting to get set up there. Let's give you a little walk around the, the Altiplex. So we got, we got Matt back over there, he's setting up his duplex. Like I've said before, use full-size groundhogs on the whole thing. This uh, California soil, man, it's awful. Failure, dude. Amicus failure. We started this morning at uh, 4C Creek and we went up 3,000 feet of elevation gain in less than four miles. So it was a brutal slog. It was really super hot today, but uh, yeah, we made it. We're here at camp. We're having a good time. Myself, Matt, and Anthony. And tomorrow is going to be a lot easier.
but it's going to be a lot more fun because we're going to, once we get up to the ridge, we're going to be traversing the ridge. Uh, we're going to try to hit up a couple peaks. Then eventually we're going to go ahead and head down to Saxton Camp. There's plenty of water over there at Saxton Camp. It's another one of these wonderful camps that are here in San Gregorio area. And yeah, we're going to have a great time tomorrow. It's not going to be as bad as it was today. I'm really glad we're here, but yeah, we're, we're a little bit beaten up. I'm looking to, to regain some of my strength here having dinner. so many of those stinking bugs in my freaking tent. <laughs> Gotta give props where props are due. Matt Dunn made this for me. It's a um, bean and cheese burrito, but he made it, um, it's a dehydrated meal, but he actually made it himself. So this is insanely good. And uh, yeah, just gotta, like I said, give props where props are due. Good stuff. So the Altiplex is all set up now. We got the uh, Trekology pillow this time. We're gonna give this thing a go. I don't know. I really, really have a uh, bad feeling that it's not going to work out too well tonight. And as far as the other gear that I brought tonight, um, I went ahead and I brought my EE 20 degree quilt. I don't expect it to be too terribly cold tonight, but um, yeah, that's going to be more than adequate for tonight. And over there on the uh, right hand side of my tent, I've got all my layers for uh, later tonight if uh, things get too cold. But that is my setup for tonight. Love this Altiplex. It's starting to become evening and uh, it's not too terribly cold, which is nice, finally, for once. Um, you know, I brought a bunch of layers, so, you know, I guess that part isn't so great, but um, yeah, at least I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty good right now, honestly. The company's good, the weather's great, and uh, we're going to have a pretty fun night, nice and quiet out here. You can't hear any noise at all. From time to time, you might hear an airplane here and there, but uh, for the most part, it is quiet as can be here, and I love it. So real quick again, just giving a rundown of the different shelters that we have here. We've got my uh, uh, Altiplex tent, uh, bringing that thing out of retirement. Going to use it on this trip. Uh, thing's great, man. One of the best one-man shelters ever created. And it's just a shame that it's not uh, not for sale anymore. Over here we got Matt set up. He's rocking the duplex tonight. So we got Team Z Packs out here. And yeah, nice blue uh, 0.51 uh, DCF Z Packs uh, duplex. Good stuff, man. Great tent there. And lastly, we have Anthony over here. He's got the Six Moon Design Lunar Solo. And uh, this is the old uh, the old model that was 24 ounces. The sill uh, the sill nylon one, not the sill polyester. That's what they sell now is sill polyester. He has the old sill nylon version. Great tent here. Absolutely wonderful shelter. This is where uh, we were hanging out. We're going to be cleaning up here soon. I think we're going to maybe leave our stuff out a little bit longer because we may have another cup of coffee or just relax in general. But yeah, this is our camp for tonight. Wonderful camp area over here. A lot of flat spots. Nice and quiet. I didn't know that the trail could be this good. Okay? Right here. Highly, highly recommended. Okay? This has been... Absolutely wonderful after a long day to have some peanut M&Ms with you. I got the uh, the sharing size. I ain't sharing with anyone. These things are absolutely great. You want to kick your want to kick your trail experience up a notch? Right here. Well, I think it's finally time for tea. I have myself some peppermint tea right now, heating up the water. Brought this on another adventure. We got some uh, peppermint tea here. Twinnings, pure peppermint.
Yeah, buddy. All right, so we had a pretty good night last night. I didn't sleep. Uh, I didn't sleep so good. I had about a stretch. It was about four uh, four hours, and then everything else was just kind of, you know, fall asleep for, you know, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, and then wake up again, and then kind of toss and turn for 15 minutes. So it wasn't the best night of sleep, but uh, no, I still feel pretty pretty well rested. Today we're going to be going up to the ridge where we're going to meet up with the San Bernardino Divide Trail. We're going to go up 1,200 feet. And then once we hit the divide trail, we're going to see if we can uh, maybe bag a few peaks. Uh, we're going to see if we can do shields and uh, Anderson and possibly El Diablo. We'll see. Uh, there's a couple of camps back there that we want to explore uh, that we saw last time when Matt and I, um, Matt, myself, and Marty did the uh, San Bernardino divide trail. So there's going to be a lot of things that we want to we want to see today. Good thing is, is that today is not going to be as brutal as yesterday. Even though it might be hot, we only have you know 1,200 feet to go. And then pretty much everything else is pretty uh, pretty easy. It is a 10,000 feet, but despite that, the traverse on the San Bernardino Divide Trail is not not that bad actually. So today's going to be good. Uh, once we do all that, we're going to be heading down to Saxton Camp, and we're going to spend the night at Saxton, and then tomorrow morning we're going to go ahead and hike out. So um, all in all, uh, having a good time, man. Having a great time with Matt and uh, Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to today and uh, checking out some of the stuff that isn't, uh, isn't always seen on this trail. Well, we finally made it up to the uh, to the divide trail. We're finally on the ridge. Boy, that was one tough slog. Yeah. That was absolutely brutal. Yesterday but uh, really tough for me. Yeah. <laughs> but this was absolutely worth it. No fans or buts about it. So what we're going to do now, or at least attempt to do, is we're going to head down in that direction. We're going to see if we could hit Anderson and Shields, and then uh, go down to Dollar Lake Saddle, and then eventually to Saxton uh, Camp at some point today. So yeah, good stuff. So we are on top of Anderson, we're thinking. Anderson, right? Correct. Got a little, little register box there. We're gonna go ahead and check that out here in a sec. But uh, yeah, boy, that was something else coming up here, huh guys? That was something else. That was rough. That was rough. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Even without the packs, that was rough. But we are here. Alright, let's open this guy up. There we go. Alright, so that's what we got in here. Hopefully these pens work. I forgot my stuff down at the bottom. So, some recent ones, 7719. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully these things, these pens work. What do you guys think about that slug up here to Anderson Peak? Dude, get out of here. That was ridiculous. That hurt. False yeah. summit, false summit right over there. We thought that was it. Yeah. Only to find out when we got to the top of that rock pile way over there, kind of right there in the shot. Dude, we realized that this was actually the place we were supposed to be. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. And way out there into this in the distance, I don't know if you guys can see it on the GoPro. This is the only camera I brought up here with me. Um, you got an awesome look at Big Bear Lake. I mean, you could practice, practically see the whole thing almost. You could see like boats way out in there. Wow, absolutely amazing up here. And let's get you guys a, a look at Old Grayback, San Gorgonio. It's, it's an amazing view from here. Check that out. So, right over there, that's where we were on the San Bernardino Divide Trail, way back over there in that saddle. And then what you do is you go up the side of Jepson and kind of go around. I think, you know, it actually you go a little bit further, go over, and then Jepson is back over that way, that peak right over there. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it. And then, yeah, you go all the way around and go up to the top of San Gorgonio. Absolutely amazing to see it from over here. Look at that, man. That's the highest point in Southern California right there. 11,503, we were there on, during 4th of July, uh, middle of the week, Matt and I. We hung out there on the the summit of mars we got absolutely destroyed by the by the sun up there and then yeah way over there you got san jacinto got some cloud cover you'll never see it on the gopro i don't think but there's like an airplane out there that's pretty cool looking yeah how about that matt <laughs> yeah Made it to uh, Shields Flat. This is a very interesting area. Nice flat area out in the middle of nowhere. The water schlep to here would be would be something else. But man, what an awesome place to to camp. It's completely it's completely covered. Just yeah, flat everywhere. Good stuff. This trail is absolutely kicking my butt. Uh, I am so spent from the sun. I mean, we're making it, don't get me wrong, but this is thing, this thing has been an absolute, just a brutality fest. We went through a rock pile right here. I just beat up my feet. <laughs> I don't even know how on earth we've even gotten this far with the, uh, the way the weather's been. It's finally starting to cool down. We're getting some clouds come through. A thousand times better than before. But yeah, we're uh, we're almost there. Almost a Dollar Lake saddle. 
almost to uh, home sweet home for the night Saxon camp. So good stuff. Finally at the top of El Diablo. Look at this valley. The view here is absolutely ridiculous. It's just absolutely so beautiful. Last time we were here, I don't think we, we really saw it like this because it was just barely turning day. I can't believe how beautiful this looks. Okay, so way down over there, I'm zoomed in all the way. Way down over there is Dollar Lake. And uh, yeah, it's typically not that filled this late in the season. So this is certainly something special. We don't always get to see it that way, but uh, yeah, we're finally getting it. We're finally getting, we are finally getting there. Finally gonna be at Dollar Lake Saddle soon. We start heading down to Saxton. I know we are finally here to Dollar Lake Saddle. My goodness, that was something else. We are excited to get down to camp. Some nice cold water. Matt is already heading down. And we have Plumber Meadow. Absolutely gorgeous here. Wonderful. It's so nice back here. I've always wanted to see Plumber Meadow. There we go. And uh, I don't know if you can see it all the way down there. But yeah, you should be able to see it there in the camera. The, uh, Got the trail running all the way down there. Well, we are here. We are finally at Plumber Meadow. We're here at the stream. Man, we were getting our butts kicked coming down that uh, trail. That was brutal. I, uh, I haven't been beaten up that bad in a long time. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and fill up with some water down over here. Absolutely gorgeous place. You know, really, really kind of stinks that you get here feeling the way you do because it's absolutely beautiful. Look at all those wildflowers up there. I mean, just amazing. Wow. We're gonna be going down that trail right over there, uh, over to Saxton Camp, it's not too much further now. But uh, yeah, this was something else today. All right, so we've, we, finally, we finally made it to Saxton Camp. This is where I'm gonna be staying for the night. We just got off the trail over there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, post up, try to relax before we head out tomorrow morning. Yeah, today was something else. I'm really excited that uh, we were able to do what we were able to do, but I'm also very happy that we're gonna be going out tomorrow. Today was, was brutal, absolutely. Absolutely brutal for me, but uh, I feel like I'm recovering well. I feel like uh, we're gonna be able to get out of here without any problems tomorrow. But uh, now, hoping to sleep really well tonight and just that kind of put today behind me. It's nice and quiet here, which is really nice. Good night, everyone. Starting to get some rain. Got a lot of lightning too.
All right, well, we have finally made it to the junction. There we go. This is what we've been waiting for all morning. It's been raining. It's been, uh, <clears throat> it's been tough. It's been everything. It's been fun. And now we're going to get the heck out of here. <laughs> it's been, uh, it's been a good trip without a doubt, but, uh, it's not without its, uh, without its hilarity. Uh, that was one amazing trail. I never knew things past Dobbs. I've been to Dobbs a couple times. I never knew things past Dobbs were, were so incredibly, uh, difficult and, uh, yeah, man, I just, that was a fun adventure to be on. That was a fun adventure to, to experience. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing that one again. I think the heat really absolutely ate us up. Maybe sometime later in the season, we could try that one again. Cause that was certainly fun. Some of the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen in this, in this mountain range. I mean, I knew it was beautiful already, but even more so now. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining us on this adventure. And uh, until next time, take care. Yeah.